Welcome to ULA, Ultimate Lifestyle Adventures. We are Bondi and Shell. It's the unknown that keeps us looking for those adventures, finding that rock pool. How about that off-grid campsite? Pushing your comfort zone? Maybe trying something new? Or even those days that are not so enjoyable? Just remember, it's still an adventure, and that's what all this is about. So let's go! This episode, we pull up in a gravel pit overnight before Shell found something under the van. After investigating, we had a little bit of underbody damage. That's all good. Then we head off to the Myra Holiday Park to see out 2023 and welcome in 2024. Then off we go, get ourselves weighed. Well, the vehicles that is. How did we go? Check it out. So we stayed at this free gravel pit overnight and then when we were sitting out this morning having coffee, as you do first thing in the morning, I noticed this pipe hanging down low. And I'm like, hmm, that's not very good. So my darling husband has got out the jack which he's in the process of doing, and he's going to go and have a look. So what have you got, babe? I oh, don't no, pull me new hydraulic trolley jack out. I only just bought it recently because we found out we got a flat the other part of the day, and the bottle jack that we've got, we've never really used before, and we found out the bottle jack doesn't lift the car big enough, high enough. So we went out and bought ourselves a trolley jack. It's only an 1,800 kilo, which is fine. It'll do what we want to do. And we got it from Super Cheap. Super Cheap Auto in Rockhampton. Yep. Yeah, Rocky, we bought it when we were up that way. Um, so I've never used it before, so pull it out and see what happens. Gosh, gosh, you're strong, honey. Anyways, how much easier is that than the bottle jack we tried doing the other day? We got the hydraulic jack from Super Cheap in Rockhampton. So what's happened is, yeah, see the pumps, the uh, diesel heater pump, it's broken, it's mount. Pretty garbage, eh? So I just got to play around with it now and see what I can do to try and fix it. That's what happens when you're on the road. Uh, but it's just maintenance and things happen, bumpy roads and stuff like that. So if you are travelling Australia or travelling in general, Highly recommend that you get yourself a good hydraulic jack. It makes life so much easier. Okay, I've been underneath the van and I've checked out the uh, diesel pump for the diesel heater. It's broken its rubber mount that you mount on your chassis. Uh, I don't know how the hell it's broken that, but where it's screwed in, it's broken off. But yeah, uh, it is what it is. Um, lucky for us, where we've stayed last night um, at this gravel pit, as you can probably see over my right shoulder here, there's a heap of rubbish. And just happens to be some strapping. Yeah. strapping. So I'm just going to make up a whole new bracket. The rubber mount's still on it, but I'm just going to make up a new bracket and screw it back on just to hold it up. So until we get somewhere where I can get a new rubber mount. So you're going to bond guy over it? Bond guy over it. Bond guy over it. Bond guy over it. So sometimes these scrap piles, like people dump rubbish, sometimes it works out well for us. So there you go. Oh, So the only problem with this sort of stuff is, is getting underneath here. So I just made up my little bracket. Okay, that holds in the wrong spot now. Yeah, it's in there. What are you doing? I'm just making up like a, a square washer. If it works. Can you see that? <clears throat> I've just bent it flat. And that's just going to sit over. This is going to choke. That's just going to sit over that. So what it does is actually supports it and helps it. So let me screw. Oh, I should put that little washer. So I'll put that into that. And then that will go over that. And into a little hole there somewhere. Hopefully. And then that will go back into that hole. I can find it. It'll just help support it, hopefully. That's the plan. That's the plan. Then. And hopefully, 
Uh, that'll support it. That's all I wanted to do is just to support it again. And then I'll probably last another buddy 10,000 k's. Look at that. Happy it's days. In. It's in and up. That's all that mattered. So when you stay at gravel pits, sometimes you've got to improvise and use what's around you to fix what yeah. needs to be fixed. And look at that. That's, that's going to stay up there now. We'll check it when we get to our next destination anyway, just to make sure it's all good. Pack up. And with this new trolley jack, how easy letting down nice and gentle. Now done. How easy is that? The life saving when we bought it, it was on special for 90 bucks. I think the 1400 or 1600 kilo was 139, 149, so Right place, right time. And it lifted what, 1,800, wasn't yeah, it's it? It's 1,800 kilo. 1,800 kilo. And yeah, that's, that's all you need. Well, we're living in the uh, gravel pit now. We um, just stayed there overnight as that's we're a good on spot. here. That's so good. we're on our way now to um, Myra Caravan Park on the Kalan River. Mm -hmm. We're heading down there for the New Year's yeah. Eve. Looking forward to it. So it good. should be good. But we're just going to stop at the uh, Yanni store on the way through. Because we ran out um, of milk. Milk, tomatoes, just some little grocery little items. Little and ends. Eggs. Um, Jen, we're out of eggs. Yeah, so we've got to get a few bits and pieces. So we'll just stop there on our way through. And then, um, yeah, we'll head on down to the Myra Caravan Park. And uh, we'll spend a couple of nights down there, the New Year's. We just pulled up now in the end, Darren. And that's where we're going to go into. You get fuel there as well. We're going to go in there now and check it all out and see what groceries we can get. Hello, Myra. So after you check in the reception, you'll be um, given a map and instructions on where to go. Yep, you're right. And we'll be here for New Year's um, at Myra. So there's our view of the water at the back. Uh, good spot. Someone gets excited from time to time when she rakes the um, ground. So she likes the ground being raked. Nice and soft, nice and smooth. So why Myra Holiday Park, you may ask? Well, it's New Year's Eve. We want to do something. And we are actually part of the sponsorship um, group to help out with the New Year's Eve fishing comp giveaways. So we're just heading over now to uh, help set up. And our singers are in already. Musos, other groupies. <laughs> so just getting set up for tonight here. It's all starting to happen. All the last day of 2023. It's all happening. Cars galore here for the prizes and the weigh-in. It's all happening here at Myra Holiday Park. Can you reach there? So I'm going to be here for the next two hours for you all and around six o'clock we're going to do the fishing competition winners. Let's do it. Is it going? Yeah, going, going oh, All the prawns that have been donated, absolutely great. We'll turn out here today. Thank you to all that have um, got involved with this. And of course, Kizzy, well done putting all this together. Alright, so we're going to announce the fishing competition winners. 
So a big thank you to all that turned up today and a big congratulations to all those lucky winners that took out prizes for their category. But on that note, I'd also like to take this moment and thank all those sponsors that got involved and donated these great prizes. Well, after a fantastic night, plenty of sunshine last night, today has gone bleak. We have the rain clouds again, so. Anyway, we're just about finished packing up here. What you doing, my love? I'm fixing your hand soap up. Oh, okay, for the, what I have at the front of the van, so you just got somewhere to wash your hands. And... Cause he's a bit delicate. He's a bit precious, he's my little precious gummy bear. Apparently, so. I'm hiding precious behind the wind at the moment. So. He's my precious gummy bear. Yeah, right. All right, well, we're out of here. We're just gonna Not do a few more things. We're going to do a few more things, we're yes. out of here. Um, unfortunately, I've to hook the van up, I can't the city here because I'll be blocking the driveway. So, so that's it from uh, Myra Caravan Park for New Year's Eve. It is a new day. New day, and we started at Myra. And it's a new year. And it's a new year. Woo -woo. Welcome to 2024. Happy New Year, everyone. Be safe. All right, so... Hang on. I'm... Be safe and look after each other, especially your health, because last year there was a few hiccups. Like a few of you. All right, so just look after yourself, look after each other, because you've got each other, and yeah, have fun. That's what it's all about. That is. All right, so that's, um, yeah, so we'll call it from here, and um, until our next adventure, so. After leaving Myra Holiday Park, we actually had a date, well, a booking actually, with Way Your Rig. These guys, Darren and his lovely wife, Jen, are a mobile service getting out and about. Something we've been wanting to do for some time, but unfortunately we could never find anybody in the Bundaberg region until now. So, how did we go? Let's see. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Absolutely fabulous. Hey guys and welcome. Uh, we are here with Way Your Rig. Even though it says Way My Rig, apparently it's called oh, Way your, your Rig. rig. Way put, your rig. I'll put the link up there anyway, boys. This is Darren and Jen. These are the guys that are in town at the moment, looking after us all to keep us safe. Um, so thank you guys for coming out today. We really welcome appreciate up. it. Um, just in a quick rundown, what are you guys actually here to do? Okay, so what we look to do is we travel around to places where there's no infrastructure in place already for people to have their caravans, their cars, their horse floats, their boats, and their builders trailers even play. So where you said you travel around, you travel Australia, it's not just Queensland, you so travel Australia? Queensland, Northern New South Wales at the moment. Okay then. But the plan will be, we will eventually go further afield. Okay. But at the moment, we're just sticking to Queensland and Northern New South Wales. Um, and yeah, we basically have an affordable weighing service where we provide you with a four page report, give you time to actually move stuff around and adjust stuff if, if it's needed and uh, and guide you on safe practices when connecting your van, your weights in your van, your tire pressures in your van, and we measure the van for you. Plus, well. if you have any questions, don't ever hesitate to ask no, because absolutely. these two lovely people are here to help educate you on the safety of your vehicles, vehicle, and what you're towing. Our phone number's on the Facebook page and it's on every report as well. So if someone actually does want to have their rig weighed and has questions six, 12 months down the track, that's fine. They've got our number, they can always call. Beautiful. So it's, it's not just the weight, yep. it's, 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 it's a combination. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. The full safety aspect of the whole thing. Yeah. I mean, and at the end of the day, I mean, it's not just your safety, but the safety of the people around you as well. You don't want something happening and then causing problems for other people as well. So as it says on the on your sign on your vehicle, don't tempt fate, no, know your weight. Like so that, not that, personally know thing. your weight, yeah. know the vehicle, <laughs> know the weight of what you're towing and know the weight of your vehicle. It, it, it is wholly the driver's responsibility to ensure that you're So 
So it doesn't, doesn't matter what you've been told by a motor dealer to say that your car will tow three and a half ton. Doesn't matter what the caravan yard tells you that your car can tow it. It's your responsibility to know. So yeah. it is best to get away. And it's a very, very small price to pay to know that you're, um, you're safe and compliant on the road. Um, I think you're pretty much booked up at this point of time. But booked up for this one? Yep. Yeah. But we're back um, on the 12th to the 18th. But for the 18th, we're already booked now. Yep. So we're back from the 12th to the 17th. We're available That's again. That's on February. That's on February. February. And we'll be back again probably in another two months after that. All right. All right. Well, we might go ahead and get all ours um, sorted out. Mm check out where we gone wrong or have we gone wrong, have we gone wrong, we might be all good. When we actually bought this, um, we've done a bit of work with the suspension, we've had the head of the suspension put to it, the airbags on it, so whether you like airbags or not, but uh, so many airbags. different stories, I've heard so many different stories about airbags nowadays, but <laughs> so we've had the, the 400 kilo constant springs, we've had the airbags, we've had the heavy duty front suspension, um, and it, to us it worked out really well, it really balanced the system out for us, and we're just recommend this with some more location. Well, guys. certainly at, uh, on yeah, viewing it just from the eye, yep. it's, it's very well on the car, so yep. I would expect balance-wise with the axle on the rear, it's going to be pretty good. Yep. That's um, our gut feeling. Which is, which, is, <laughs> which is probably one of the most important parts of the van, is to make sure that your wheels are all doing, carrying the same way as to do. Yep. Yep. Well, I do inside the van, so I've gone through it but prior to you, right? So, someone's at blame if the van's wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take my hat off to that if the van's wrong. But a gut feeling, I think he's fine because I've gone through it and taken out stuff that I don't use. What? Really? So the van's over the whole floor full of box. Yes. They can <laughs> <See>? go. <laughs> uh, no, I've got everything I need from the car. Next thing I'll do is make sure we get the hitch height yep. as it's connected to the car. Because when we do your tow ball weight, it's important to have it at the same height that it sits on your car. Uh, make sure we do that. Okay. So the why do you actually take it from the bottom? I just take it at the bottom of here. Oh, okay. Next so thing. depending on the hitch, if it's a DO35 hitch, I'll take it from the middle of the hex on the DO35. Yep. It doesn't matter where you take it from, as oh, long as you take it from the same place every time. Yep. Um, so yeah, it's a great day for us to get this checked out finally. It's been on our bucket list to do for quite some time. Unfortunately, naughty to us. Um, we've, just, we've had this around a couple of years now, this is our first time we've actually done it. Uh, but this is a, it's a must do guys. And these guys are so reasonably priced for what you got. And if you're not compliant in any way whatsoever, which is what we're going to find out today, what is actually compliant, what's not compliant, um, insurance companies will wipe you. So you've got to make sure that it is spot on for whatever reason. Um, you mightn't think much of it, but you know you, you might be driving down the highway and finding a bit of a sway. It could be just something sitting in the back of your van that's not weighted right. And these guys, this is what it's all about. They come out of here and they will check your van completely and sort it out, put you on the right track. So we're doing the car separately first. All wireless as well. All wireless. Woohoo! So what are you doing? We're running the car, running the car forward. We're running the car up here on the pad. Getting ready to see how the Triton is. All right, well, I just need you guys in the car. So, we're sitting in the car at the moment. Um, they're just doing the actual weight of the vehicle, the overall weight of the vehicle, uh, which has got the actual van on as well, but they're doing the actual vehicle weight. So, I will total weight, which I'm really, really scared about. I think that we're going to be, um, we are going to be over, I feel, in the car. So so that's your gut feeling? That's my gut feeling at this point of time. Um, I really do think, yeah, I sort of, I don't like the way Darren's looking at me all the time. It's scaring me. This is where it, you can, you can see where it comes out. So that's our reader. Oh, okay. All right. So that's without you guys in it. This is with you guys in it. So yes, there, there needs to be potentially a bit of weight shed, uh, or you, the other option is you can look at a small medium upgrade on a Triton. Yeah. Okay, so what we've done now is we've just disconnected the caravan off the car, um, and our weights. We're a little bit over at this point of time, but we're, we're working on that, so we'll just see how we go overall. Um, but we did know that this would be 
the vehicle would be a bit overweight. Not a lot. No. But if you've got something, once you know, you know, and then you can you can play with it, so to speak. So what we're doing now is we're going to take the car off the uh, pads. We've hooked the van back on again, so we're getting the car off the pads. And now we're going to work on the uh, the van by the looks. So, uh, let's I, go. I, I think the van is going to be happy days. That's my gut up, feeling. Yeah. I think the van's going to be fine. What we're doing now, I think we're going for tow more weight. I think we're, yeah, well, we're going for tow more weight with this machine, but we're doing the whole van at yep. the same time. So, we have some good news. <laughs> <laughs> Your GCM's fine. Yeah. Told you, I told you, yes, I, I knew the overall would be good. Um, look, you, you, you're certainly not super heavy over. Right? You're not a long way over. So whatever it's over is relatively easy fixable. Okay. You know? um, some people don't like the suggestion of running without water yep. in the tanks, but you've got two tanks. Yes. Yeah. So 100 litre tanks, roughly. 95, yeah. 95 litres, so there's 95 kilo each tank. So yeah. so, um, yes, I know if you're going off grid, you need the tanks full. But what I suggest to people is you minimise your risk of either being pulled over, overweight, or having an incident yeah. by travelling as long as you can without water yeah. in your tanks. Your, your tow ball weight's pretty good, so you don't need to adjust that. Was that enough in? 264. I wasn't too far off. They're actually really good. You're 50 kilos between side to side. <laughs> so you're not bad on your balance. And um, the 50 kilo difference your is, is, your, is your togs. That's the 50 kilo difference. What side are your togs on? The uh, right. Driver, uh, passenger side. Oh no, what's on the right hand side? Oh shit. <laughs> uh, kitchen, that's kitchen. <laughs> so 50 kilos is actually quite good. Most, yeah. most people are a long way over there. So. so I have a question for you then. Yep. By doing all these weights and sort of stuff, okay, over time we all get lazy and we start adding more and more things. Do you have a recommendation on how often you would put your vehicle to your weight? Uh, well, we've been on the road three months and we've weighed ours three times. Okay. But that's because it's easy for us to yeah, do so. Yeah. Uh, I recommend, certainly anytime you make a change to your car or your caravan, they yep. should be reweighed. Anytime you make major changes to either of your combination, add something to it, yep. I think you should also look at being reweighed. Yep, so what we do is we do a reweight, we don't charge anywhere near Right, right, because the chances are when we're doing the reweight, we've got all the information on the old report, so it's a little bit quicker, yep. and you're not necessarily have to explain everything you need. Yeah. So, I think it will get to a time where insurance companies actually start asking you to weigh your cars. Okay. Your okay. I think it will get there. So this is from us to you, so hence that's us. So we've got the scan thing of a jiggy thing on there, so if you scan link it... Link tree. <laughs> if you just scan that, it'll get to our link tree. And where I said about your shirts, right? We see Jess, which is this lovely lady, and again, okay, yep. scan that, and she does these. Okay, cool. This is actually Jess. So her. Does she do the screen printing? Yes. yes. So it's actually, it's actually D two G. There you go, Jess. Direct, Direct to, to garment. Yeah. Right, and she's a she does it all herself. So yep. take your pick if you want the blue or the black or the black. Thank or you very blue, much. Take your pick. So now, once again, guys. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank Thank you very much, guys. No worries. It has, and um, I guess now it's the pack up, and uh, for us to sit back and work at what we're going to do, we know what we've got to do now. So ours is pretty easy uh, compared to some people, unfortunately. Yeah, some, some minor adjustments. Some minor adjustments for us, but um, yeah, no, we'll um, certainly get up the way, and yeah.